This is a solo concrete mixing routine using 80 pound uh, quick creep mix and this bad boy right here. So we're gonna mix it. We're actually gonna mix two bags and then we're gonna pour it into a wheelbarrow and deliver it to the footing. So I'm gonna need a pointed trowel, a shovel, and a garden hose with a valve where you can shut it off. Of course, the wheelbarrow, the mixer, which is plugged in to an electrical outlet. I've already put in here a little bit of water that comes up to right about in here, which is which is right about where the um, there's a seam inside of the machine. So I, I came up right past that that seam. That's going to be a little bit too much water for one bag. Since I'm mixing two bags, that's good. So I don't need the shovel yet. I'm gonna lay that up top. <clears throat> Lift with your legs. So here I'm putting my foot on the wheel. Okay, throw the bag up, rest one end of the bag right here. Use my leg to rest the other side. Take the pointed trowel. I'm just cutting off the very end of this bag. And the back, the end is actually hanging there. It's not completely off. I could rip it off, but it's actually benefits if the end of the bag stays in there. My next step is to lift it and get it to dump in. And if you have the lip here, it's a little bit extra bag to help keep the cement, the concrete mix in there. Hang on to this, put my foot on the wheel. I'm putting my foot on the wheel because as it starts, It'll start to spin and all this weight will come up on the side at first. If you don't put your foot on the wheel, it's likely that this will tip over. You also want to set this up relatively level. You don't want to have it on too much of a hill. And as you can see, I have it on a little bit of a slope right now. So foot on the wheel, turn it on. Try not to breathe in the dust. You do a little dance while it's mixing if you want. Shouldn't take very long for it to mix up that first bag. As you can see, this is wobbling just a little bit. It's come loose, a little bit loose. This mixer has been through several years of love. And it's the entire earth dome went through this mixer. Okay, so it's a little bit wet there. I'm gonna set this back up top here, grab another bag. Put on the wheel, bag in the hole. Drop the trowel. See, that one rips. Now the end of the bag is in there, so I'm gonna try to get that out. I stuck the trowel through too far when I stabbed it. I stabbed too, all the way through. Now have the hose in hand because this is going to be a little bit dry. So I got, again, my foot on the wheel. This is more likely to tip over with the second bag than it is with the first because it's more weight up top. And then I'm going to spray this just a little bit. And I'm spraying like straight back in there. But don't overdo it because you don't want to get too wet. That right, should be about good. I saw a couple pieces of paper in there, but they were small, so I'm not worried about it. <clears throat> now let me lay this back out. This drips a little bit, so don't put it on top of the bags. Make sure it's laying, you know, so it's not going to get the bags wet. I like to put it somewhere I don't have to bend over as far, so I'm trying to get it up high here. All right, so now it's mixed up pretty well. I'm going to position this right in front of the mixer, but if it's sitting upright, it doesn't work as well. You can also, you can tip it over and that works, but if you're doing two bags, then it'll overflow on the low side. So you have to use a shovel, put it in here. I'm bracing it up a little bit and I'm also holding it with my foot so the wheelbarrow doesn't flip over the other way. Now I can dump this. I can also, if it's not mixed well, I can hold it up horizontal like this, and it'll continue to mix a little bit better. <clears throat> now, 
know there's still a little bit in there if that sometimes it all comes out sometimes it stays in some of it stays in there so you can use a pointed trowel well, this takes some if there's too much in there it can take a lot of time so sometimes it's not worth getting it all out like I'm not going to try to scrape every bit of that out I'm just going to leave some of it for next time and then before you leave the mixer go ahead and spray it down and kind of break loose some of the stuff on the bottom here first because the water is going to flow down to the bottom so I'm starting to break loose the stuff on the bottom first and then I'm just going to hit the sides a little bit, go around the edges. And if you do that just right, it'll have, you got to be quick with it, and it'll have just the right amount of water in there. Then you're ready to go pour this. So we're going to pour this, and then we got to talk about cleaning up tools real quick. This is where you got to have some good wheelbarrow skills. Now come over here, Michelle. Pause it for a sec. So you got to get the front of the wheelbarrow to land just right. So there's this point from right here to where it gets where it uh, gets upright, where it's kind of unstable. So you got to be quick with it. <clears throat> and ideally, you don't get a bunch of it on the outside of the footing like I just did. It's okay to have a tiny bit of dirt in the footing, but try not to get much of that. Then you can use the hoe to pull it around, get it at the right level. We have grade stakes in here. So we want to get it to the top of the grade stake. So I want to be able to push down on the grade stake and not see these, this uh, like impulse wave going on here. Impulse wave, wow. I didn't know we were dealing with that. All right, so and we're about to go to lunch. <clears throat> so we need to make sure we leave this footing set up so it doesn't have a cold joint. No cold joints up in here. All right, so there we go. There's a tiny bit of a, a wave, a little impulse there. And... <clears throat> You don't want to have big rocks sticking up because that'll be in the way of laying the bricks. So there we go. That's what we're going for is where the, the hoe can just kind of scoot across the top of the concrete. And then I want to clean this up back in here just a little bit. So our, block, our brick can go back in there. You could use a pointed trowel for that if you wanted to. And then, so we don't want to have this concrete come over and just stop because we're about to leave. We're going to come back and pour the rest of it. So I want it to kind of stage step down a little bit so that when we come back after lunch, the concrete that we pour after lunch is going to overlap this and it'll tie in. And this is all pretty rough here, so it'll lock into that pretty well. That way we don't, won't have a crack. And the footing. Then before we're done, before we leave, I want to make sure all of the tools are clean and clear of any of this green looking concrete. Um, and you know this part like right here is is still relatively green. It's something that's just been on there from this morning. So we want to try to wash everything out really good before we go to lunch. That is Solo Concrete Mixing 101.